Hello. Well, we have a few practice exam questions for you here as you get ready for the water distribution certification exam. I call them the top 10. may not be the top 10, but they're 10 very likely uh, topics that you'll see addressed on the water distribution operator certification exam. So let's look at them. First, what chemical is used to dechlorinate water quality samples? Yeah, hopefully you've got that one figured out. That's a real common question. Sodium thiosulfate. We add that to take the chlorine out of our water samples. Next question. What is the primary drinking water standard uh, that is established to minimize the risk of methemoglobinemia? And in case you don't recognize that term, the other term, the common term for that disease, is blue baby syndrome. So hopefully that tipped the scale to you. That is caused by nitrate. So that's another uh, common test topic, nitrate and blue baby syndrome. What is the term for all the processes combined that convert liquid water into the gaseous form? Well, evaporation is one of those processes. Transpiration, another. If we put those together, it is evapotranspiration, another common term that we'll see on the state certification exams. Next question, where will you find a nutating disk in a water distribution system? That's right, water meters. Yeah, pretty much the most common form of water meter uh, Residential meters are positive displacement, and nutating discs are the most common positive displacement meters. What are the two constituents in water that we call hardness? Yeah, two metals that we put together. They constitute hardness, calcium, and magnesium. Other metals are involved too, but these are the dominant ones in every water supply. And we add calcium and magnesium together to get what we call total hardness. What is the term for a water bearing layer of soil? Another hint for you, usually composed of coarse granular soil materials like sand or gravel. Yes, that's an aquifer, an, a water-bearing layer of soil. An aquifer is confined and under pressure. What is another term for this type of aquifer? Uh, one term that we would use for this is artesian. An artesian aquifer is confined, has a aquaclude on top of the aquitard, uh, or an aquitard on top of the aquifer and that makes the water uh, beneath under pressure. We refer to this art as artesian. What is the term for the height to which water will rise in a well that's tapped into an artesian aquifer? And when we put the well down, the water level in the well doesn't stop at the top of the aquifer, does it? It goes to where the pressure pushes it, and it rises to what we call the piezometric surface. Another term that you're not going to encounter very often, but just on the certification test. What do we call the difference between the static water level and the pumping water level? And here we're looking at the uh, uh, the hydraulics of wells, we call this the drawdown, the vertical distance between the static water level and the pumping water level. How about this? What does diurnal mean? It has nothing to do with standing in a men's room, does it? No, it means it is daily or based on a 24-hour cycle. That's what diurnal means. So there's a few words for you to uh, put into your water vocabulary as you get ready for the certification exam for water distribution. 
and you can find more information on preparing for the test and getting the continuing education that you need to renew your license at www.mostwatertraining.com. See you there.